Midwives, doulas, they are trained birthing experts who help women bring new lives into the world. Many women say they couldn't get through their deliveries without the help, but now comes a new twist to this growing trend, the doula dude. The San Antonio man is working with moms during the birthing process. Channel 2's Lauren Freeman explains why he does it and the reaction he's getting from new parents. What I suggest you do is hold mom's hand, touch her head. Welcome to the Rocking Dads class in San Antonio, an introduction to the birthing experience Failure. taught by... I'm Brian Salmon. I'm the birth guy. That's right. 46-year-old Brian Salmon is a birthing expert known as a doula. He's a man in a woman's world, and it brings up a lot of questions. The biggest one is, oh my God, how would a woman want a male doula at their birth? But many do. Brian's classes are packed, and one main reason begins long before the delivery room. He helps dads get ready for their child's birth in the rocking dads class. What happens is the baby's going to come out with a onesie on just like this. No, I'm just kidding. But the baby comes out. His sense of humor helps put these soon to be dads at ease. That and the fact that this birthing expert is a guy. I think he's a likable dude and um, really brings a lot of comfort to the subject. His information is solid. Brian has studied biochemistry, physiology, and has a degree in radiology. One topic he teaches dads, the benefits of breastfeeding. The babies get antigens for mom. It prevents breast certain types of breast cancer in mom, certain types of uterine cancer in mom. <laughs> Clint Ballou is a graduate of Brian's Rocking Dads class. I tell all my friends, any anybody that's you know having a baby coming up, I'm going, hey, you got to go and and see this guy because he's going to change your your whole experience. You can find Brian's birth guy videos online, along with a lot of other information about his work in San Antonio, on Click2Houston.com in our health section. Lauren Freeman, KPRC Channel 2 News.